Hey guys, Appliance Guy Online here. I am going to attempt to open this EasyGo 1206 or 1206 uh, golf cart controller. Um, I got this controller off of a 1994 EasyGo TXT. I believe it's a 94. Anyways, I, I was looking to see, I was kind of looking online to see how I can get this thing opened, um, and I couldn't find anything online as far as how to open it. Um, you can see that I started taking a screwdriver and started trying to pry it here, um, which did not work very well. You can kind of see the marks that I've made there. Um, but the reason I'm trying to open it is because when you lift it, and you shake it sounds like there's dirt in there or something um, and I don't know if it works or not I haven't tested it uh, the golf cart I got had no batteries uh, so I wanted to open it up and just take a look inside um, and hopefully this will help anybody else trying to open it up and test it or just even clean it inside so that's what I am doing um, basically I finally figured it out after uh, a few minutes of finagling with it. Um, basically what I did was I held it up like this um, and I basically just took a hammer and kind of gently hit it on this corner um, which caused this part here to kind of pop out. Um, let me show you what it looked like when I popped it out. So you can kind of see where it separated there. Um, I put the screwdriver in there just so you could kind of see how it came off. And then I'm gonna take it off a little bit more and kind of show you, so. So after I put that screwdriver in there, after I hit it with the hammer and uh, I gently hit it on this corner here, uh, and it popped open like this. I stuck a screwdriver into there and then what I did next was I kind of popped this off here all the way down and I th And this is my first time opening it. I got this far and I stopped just to record it. So it looks like there is a track under there of some type Um, so I've gotten it kind of this far here and it looks like this part here has to be pried out a little bit. So after some prying here um, and just kind of working it's working it off of there, um, I've got it to pop off of there pop off of there and actually it looks like there are two tracks there that you can kind of see where that box kind of clips in there you can see it there too so it just kind of sits on there like that and then on each side there is a track here and here but after a little bit of finagling I got it off um, and upon opening this thing it looks like this thing may have had some type of water damage that's what the shaking was and I'm willing to bet that this thing is no good you could see all types of rust and corrosion here yeah this thing's in bad shape you could see yeah it looks like it was maybe sitting on the golf cart like this and you know water got in the bottom or moisture or whatever um, but anyways that is how you open a easy go 1206 controller and like I said I don't think this thing is gonna work anymore yeah there's a loose wire here maybe 
Other than that, one loose wire. It looks like everything is kind of still intact. I may have pried that up a little bit. Is that supposed to sit down like that? But anyways, that's how you take a 1206 Easy Go controller apart. And I'm sure not only the 1206, just any uh, Curtis controller in an Easy Go. Um, by the way, all that, when I was shaking it and it was making that sound like sand inside, um, when I finally got this thing opened all of this kind of sand which is just metal and corrosion and everything else fell out and that's what was making that shaking noise but like I said I'm willing to bet that this thing does not work because that is a lot of corrosion but anyways, that's how you open it. Subscribe for more great videos. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day. Good luck.